Hello YouTube, welcome to Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey as always, thanks for joining me today. Well, in our last episode, we were getting our motor component swapped over. We're gonna try to see if we can get it stabbed today into the chassis and get it cranked up. So ride along with us. All right, on the last episode, we got pretty much everything swapped over. The only thing you missed was this oil line here, clamping it down. We had to do the motor mounts, and I actually pulled the clutch assembly back off. Now, I want to put a spacer in here that had come out, but we're good, uh, good shape. I'll we'll try to see if we get this thing stabbed in here, get it wired up, and then see if we can get it cranked, hopefully. So let's see what we get done. Get the motor lift out of here now. Man, you talking about a job by yourself, <clears throat> but we survive. All right. I think this may be the last time I ever do this. <laughs> All right, this is where we're at. We've got the motor just loosely in. Got our oil lines on. I went ahead and hooked up the clutch line. Let me tell you what, these coupler bolts right here for this drive shaft, it's unbelievable. You have to actually tighten that up first before you set the motor in. And by yourself, that was almost impossible. But we got her done. Um, just slowly take her time. We got to tighten up these two mounts here, we got the other side already mount. Go ahead and probably put the carburetors on it next and uh, start with this wiring. I've got the motor, old motor hung up over here so I can figure out what type of wiring connectors we're going to do. And uh, we should be okay. We'll use it for reference, references only. But we'll go ahead and start trying to get some of this stuff together and uh, hopefully get some oil. Gotta get a filter on it still. And then we will uh, see if we can figure out the wiring <clears throat> for the ignition. I gotta get a phone call, get some help on that. We will get the plug wires in the right spot and then see if it'll crank. All right, we got the carburetors in and I got the coil uh, plate mounted solid. And my gracious son is helping me with the wiring here, or graciously helping me with the wiring. Uh, that's his expertise, which really is pretty much plug and play, but we got a lot of mismatching uh, wires on here that as far as the ends that they had versus what we had in the car already. So he's already fixed this, made it look a lot nicer. So we're going to, uh, all we have to do is really get the uh, ignition wired up and then get the alternator wired up. And uh, then we can try to turn it over. Now I did talk to the people a while ago about trying to do the oil on this thing. This thing's real tricky when it comes to trying to get the uh, oil pressure built up. You have to prime this motor and thank God I called them. That's gonna be a pretty, pretty tricky deal. But uh, anyway, Ryan's gonna keep on working on this and uh, we'll be checking back in here with you in just a second. Okay, Ryan has got all the wiring done. We fixed a bunch of loose ends and hopefully we got this thing wired up right. I got the oil cooler in. We got fresh oil in it, got the carburetor. We uh, have to bleed 
the oil system. So we actually have to take this out. And according to the manufacturer, you have to spend the money. We spun this thing a bunch and finally got oil pressure out of the exhaust side here. And I didn't think we were going to get it. We spun and spun and spun and finally started getting oil there. Now we've checked our oil level, which is still okay in our sight glass down here. And Ryan has put the plugs back in. I don't know what I've done without him because I wouldn't be able to be this far. Got the headers on. So we're going to let it down a little bit and see if it'll crank. Hopefully. I have no idea, so keep your fingers crossed. Okay, we're going to try this for the first time and see. I have no idea. Uh, can you reach the... Oh. I tried, I tried to crank, huh? We're gonna try to see if we can really reach the gas. I think we got it flooded. We're going to check something out. Be right back with you. Okay, we checked for fire. It's getting fire. We're going to try it again. I don't know which got really bad flooded. I don't like when it's doing that. Carburetor is just absolutely flooding uh, with gas, so it's only supposed to have a two-pound pump. But uh, so let's got to pull the carburetors off of it now and see. But at least it runs, and we know that Ryan did the wiring right. So anyway, I'm gonna raise back up. I'm gonna check the oil level and then uh, see what pretty more oil. Then we gotta start trying to look at these carburetors. So be right back with you. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. Uh, we found one wire, one pair of wires. So we need to swap back around. The, off the alternator, and that's making it do a little back feed to the firing system. The carburetor is just pouring gas. We're going to try to crank it one more time and tap it. If it don't work, uh, we're going to have to uh, pull the carburetors off and go through these needles and seats. So let's see what happens here.
it's getting so much gas in there, it's just it's just flooding. So um, there's seats in here. See the little neoprene seats are just worn out. So I'm gonna call the owner and see how long it's been since he's run it. So hey, it runs and uh, that's a good thing. And um, we know we learned a little bit about these. Hopefully, we'll never never work on one of these things again. We did learn a little bit about the wiring. So uh, we'll get the carburetors pulled off and go from there. Well, that wraps up another fun episode. And what we're going to do, probably have an episode four, believe it or not, but we got the thing running. That's what we want to accomplish today. I appreciate my son, Ryan Humphrey, helping me a lot today. And uh, he did the wiring so we could try to do double duty on this thing. But as always, appreciate you guys watching us. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And tell your friends about the channel. We continue to grow, and I'm very thankful for that. But join us for what will be part four, and we will see if we can get these uh, thing out in the track if we get the carburetor worked on a little bit and get some of this uh, flooding issue worked on. But we'll get out and track, see if we have a little fun with it. Thank goodness. I know there's a racetrack right in my backyard. So we'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you. You take care.